So Walter B. Carter means a lot to me. It's a school that I've seen grow over the five years. I've been here to help merge it into two schools, now into one. We have over 800 kids here now. When I first started, we had 345. The day that Mr. Pickney came in, it was just love. He makes everybody one big happy Walter B. Carter family. Parents want their students to be here. We have staff who want to be here as well. So I would like to say I would not be the leader that I am without my staff. I appreciate them and their hard work and for trusting me to be their leader. Mr. Pinckney teaches teachers how to be a leader. This school year, he actually was teaching a sixth grade class and he was doing the lesson plans right along with the teacher. Sometimes he subs, as long as we ask for support, he's always there. Mr. Pinckney is someone who can almost shield you from a lot of the anxiety, the stress, the burnout that can happen. He is a principal of love. Our staff is taking a hold of that. I tell my students I love them. Him saying it's okay to tell your students that you love them gives me the okay that I can say, hey, I love y'all. My kids are my kids and I love them dearly. So he makes sure that he loves on us as teachers and we can trickle that down to not only the students, but also to the parents. We cannot do this alone without the parents. We have to have them at the table when we're making major decisions. I say it all the time, parents, we, they have to be our co-creators. We can't create and then tell them to do. We met our SPP goals so far for the year, and we did that again by working with the parents, making sure that they understand the assessment results and assessment reports that are coming home, and they're having that consistent dialogue with teachers about how can they help. Parents are experts in their children, we're experts in instruction. So we have to work together in order to figure it out for a particular child. My son, uh, when I first got here, he had an IEP, and that's the day I met Mr. Pink. And he was like, what's going on? So I explained everything to him. He said, I have everything for you done in two days. I had a meeting, all my paperwork was laid out, and my son EP got started that day. Now, my son has been thriving. His speech has, has gotten better. He can read on a fourth grade level when my son is only in second grade. I like to be the direct line for parents because there should be no in-between. If they need to see the principal, I am available. You have to feel comfortable with parent engagement with contacting parents. So one thing I preach all the time is communicating with parents, good or bad. I've had students come to me and say, Mr. Burton, did you call my mom yet? Instead of, oh, he's about to call my mom. I have gotten personal phone calls from Mr. Pinkney because he actually cares about his students. Before I got here, parents were engaged. So now it's progressing that parent engagement piece forward. Mr. Pinckney allows many opportunities for parents to have a say, ask any questions, and he's always there to make the school better. I leave from the heart. I leave from love. Teaching and learning happens every single day. He's just engaged and he keeps us all engaged with each other. So even when he's not here, his presence is just always here with us. One thing he says on announcements is, if no one told you they love you, I love you. And he says it every day. He does not miss a beat. He means that when nobody tells you that they love you, he loves you and he always will. And it makes me feel loved. You feel like you're in a family and you want to feel like you're in a family when it comes to your child. And that's not something you normally have, but we have it here.